The strikes of 1919 rock the nation. Shipyard workers in Seattle, clothing workers in New York, and soft coal miners in West Virginia all strike for better wages and shorter work weeks. In September, 300,000 steel workers leave their jobs and shut down the industry. The steel companies strike back with a vengeance, beating and shooting strikers. To gain public support, the companies portray the strikes not as labor disputes, but as an attempted revolution inspired by foreign radicals. When the war ends, Americans were unable to turn off their fear of foreigners. And as strikes and labor actions um, paralyzed the nation in 1919, uh, the belief became widespread that communists and socialists and other people deemed subversives or anti-American were causing problems. They are rounded up uh, in what becomes known as the Red Scare. After a bomb explodes outside the home of Attorney General uh, A. Mitchell Palmer, Palmer um, stages a series of raids. The government uh, made raids on people that they considered radical or subversive or un-American. Uh, and for quite a long time, anybody who, who tried to criticize the government or suggest that maybe things could be done in a different way were simply de denounced as un-American. Some people had been put in prison during the war for simply questioning certain things that the government was doing. So it was a time of great hysteria. The nativist sentiment peaks right after the war. Those thinking of themselves as 100% Americans are repulsed at the sight of some 800,000 immigrants stepping ashore in 1920 and 1921, most of them from Southern and Eastern Europe. Right after World War I, we get things like the, the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, is, a, is an example of a largely Protestant group fearing blacks, Italians, Jews, the organization of super-American societies that praise America and want to resist anything else. So it's, a, it's an exaggerated feeling of patriotism is what nativism is. The fear of foreigners unleashed by the war continues without challenge into the 1920s. In 1921, Congress passes an Emergency Quota Act to stem the flow of immigrants. Later, more restrictive legislation cuts the flood of immigrants to America's shores to a trickle for decades to come. 